that this is all about that turquoise water from every single room. Oh my goodness. Oh my lord. I am so excited to go out and see this 16 and a half million dollar property out at Sailfish Point, Ocean Access. Hey, it's Mike the Bike. What's it going is, on, man? How are you, Alex? I'm great. What How are you? What are you up to? I'm heading out to Sailfish Point. Wow, that's where it all started for me with Carlton Sheets 25 years ago. Oh my lord, that's right. You actually came to Florida to get into real estate and I, you met I Carlton Sheets. I manifested Carlton Sheets into my life and it happened only in sunny Florida. And that's why he gets to enjoy his life now because he made a great decision 25 years ago. No regrets. Love it, Mike. We're going out to Sailfish, man. We'll let you know how Thank it goes. Thank you so much, Alex. Have a great day. Always great seeing you. Thank you. Imagine living in a place that feels like you're on a resort, like you're on a tropical island in the middle of nowhere, yet you have all the creature comforts that you possibly could want. Well, that's Sailfish Point, and today we're gonna to be showing you Sailfish Point at a $16.5 million property, six bedroom, six bath, 9,000 square feet on the water, so let's go. So I'm on my way out to Sailfish Point, and I always get a little giddy going out there. I absolutely love this community and love golf and, and love the whole lifestyle. And I was reminded as I'm looking at this turquoise water out here of a conversation that I had with somebody the other day, and they had a really kind of specific set of criteria, which really reminded me of that we have it here. So they'd been to St. Lucia and they mentioned, you know, how remote it was. But they also said when we were there, it was great, but also we wanted to go to a shopping center and those things aren't really there. And so I said, well, it's really actually interesting because we have that here in Stewart and the Treasure Coast area for that matter. That's what makes this area so unique and that's why people love it so much. That's why I love it so much as well. I just wanted to stop real fast. Every time I come out here down MacArthur Boulevard, I stop at the House of Refuge just to check it out. One of the reasons people like to come here is that you have the Indian River Lagoon on this side. You can see people out here fishing. This is a public spot. You also can kiteboard from here. You can launch your paddleboard or your kayaks from here. Now the cool thing is right on the other side is actually the ocean. So you could come here for the calm water and the fishing and launch your kayak or whatever, or you can go over onto the other side and check out the ocean. So let's go check out that side. I really wanted to show you this. I'm, I'm, in my, I'm in my business clothes here. Usually when I come onto the beach here, I'm in my beach attire, but we're heading out to Sailfish, so I wanted to put the tie on for you. This is called Blowing Rocks. So this is a very famous spot. You can come on, the sunrise is great and the sunset is great as well. And people come here to get photos done for their weddings and that kind of thing. The beach moves all the way down here towards the south and that's actually where Sailfish Point is there. Now remember, Florida doesn't have any private beaches. It's all public beach access. So you literally could start walking on this beach and walk up if you wanted to, to see Sailfish Point. I thought this would be an opportune time to talk to you about one of the key aspects of Sailfish Point and it is security. So it's one of the only places where you actually have manned security that's armed. Hello. And they're actually all EMTs. So this is 24 hour gated. They have patrols that go around constantly. So you can see they're, they're very on top of things here. Security is uh, one of the absolute musts that people have for moving out here to Sailfish. There's been such a buildup for this. I'm super excited to see this house. You've been here, you're gonna show it to me. Uh, before that, I wanna talk a little bit about Sailfish Point. Do you know about the history of Sailfish? No, I don't, tell me. Well, it's really cool. It actually goes back to like 1715 and that's where the Treasure Coast got its name because the Spanish galleons, they ran aground and all their treasure came ashore. And those are back in like the 1800s. But actually in 1980, the Mobile Corporation actually came in and bought this whole piece of land and they started to develop this property. Now what you have is you have 625 units in here. You have single family homes, you got town homes, you got villas, you got oceanfront estates, you have properties like this that are on that beautiful turquoise water on the intercoastal, 85 slip marina, 45 slips that are dry slips, the Jack Nicholas golf course, you know I love my golf, which was built in 1986. They just did a giant rehab of the course in, in 2022. So this community affords people really this luxury that this house is all about. That's the epitome of a Treasure Coast lifestyle right there. It is. Let's go check out this house. Jessica, we're finally here. We are here. We're finally here. So I saw this house a couple of weeks ago and uh, for a customer and it really struck me then. Now you came a little bit early. W what did you find out about the house? 
Well, it's just about 9,000 square feet. It has six bedrooms, six baths, two private lofts, a separate guest quarters, three kitchens, 100 foot of frontage and deep water access. Deep water right here, looking out over the Indian River Lagoon. Man, coming in here, like all it just, it's just so big and spacious. Yeah, now that you mentioned it, the original owner's wife was big on entertaining. She wanted a nice space to have her friends, family, have parties, host events. You have the big kitchen in there. She even has a bar in the living room. So she, she did it right here. She has all the space in the world to entertain. Look at this kitchen. This is unbelievable. Yeah, this kitchen is the epitome of an entertainer's dream. You have your double oven here, the Sub-Zero, your island long enough for all the food that you would use to entertain. You have gas appliances. and. You can even be a barista over there. It makes custom coffees, cappuccinos, frappuccinos, espressos, whatever you want. Barista. Yeah. And then you have your is eating, eating kitchen here. Yeah, your eating kitchen here. Again, a view of the blue turquoise water. So you can see it from all angles of this house. Every room, you're literally looking at the water. That's one of the things I'm noticing here. I'm reminded of that this is all about that turquoise water from every single room. Yep. You got it, Alex. So you can see it from everywhere. Oh my goodness. Oh my Lord. So moving on here, we got our bar that you mentioned earlier. I can see at the end of the day having a drink with the guys after golf or maybe pickleball with the group. And we're walking, are we in the master? This is actually very unique to this master bedroom. It has its own separate foyer, which branches off to the bathroom. And then the bedroom, which you can see the beautiful blue turquoise water from every space that you're in in this bedroom. Well, speaking of bathroom, I can see the tile going all the way up to the ceiling. I want to see this bathroom. Yeah. It's exquisite. Well, what else did you see in here? Well, did you notice the double waterfall shower heads in the soaking tub? Like, can you imagine laying in here at night and the dolphins swimming by? Yes. We just saw dolphins. I, <laughs> I feel like I could be in that tub and see dolphins go by, literally. We might see them again. <laughs> wow, your throne awaits. Okay, so we come off of the foyer and this is the master. Yes, we are in the master suite here. Again, here's that gorgeous blue turquoise water that we've been mentioning. Again, you could see dolphins from your bed too. You know what I love about this master bedroom? It feels absolutely perfect. The space is great. It has all this natural light coming in, so it feels like a really nice big space. However, you could also close it up and go into like full bunker sleep mode. Yeah, actually it's built like a bunker. It's poured concrete, two stories high, all impact glass. So it'd be a perfect place to entertain during a hurricane. Hurricane party? Yeah. <laughs> Let's do it. So we just wanted to show that this is a loft up here? Yeah, they like to call this a little VIP room when you're entertaining, having parties. Guests can come up here. It even has its own balcony. So it overlooks the pool and where all the guests would be entertained. And depending on the time of day, you could see the sunrise and the sunset up here. This is a really, really cool spot. Yeah. So you almost have like, your own little space for your guests. I can really see myself getting some work done in here, Jessica. I bet so, you have your built-in shelves, you have a lot of lighting in here, you can see the dolphins strolling by when you're working. Yeah, that'll be that'll help me get some work done, see <laughs> the dolphins going by. All right, so where are we now, Jessica? This house goes on and on and on. Yeah, we are in the guest quarters. So this is completely separate from the main house. It has its own living area, bathroom upstairs, has a little kitchenette and a bedroom. So this is for your real VIP guests after the parties. I like <laughs> VIP guests, but I like all my guests to be kind of separate. So I'm really, really liking this. So, so it's upstairs is the actual bedroom. Then we have a bathroom downstairs, mm -hmm. completely separate. Yep. And they still get the view of that beautiful water. I'm really liking this. So we were out here shooting and literally the owner came up to us and said, would you like to see my car that goes in the water? And how do you say no to that? Mind blown. Mind blown. So he actually owns this company that builds these cars from the soup to nuts ground up. The car goes in the water. We're going to see how this works out. Jessica, this was such a treat to see this home with you. It really feels like a resort here. It feels like you're in the middle of paradise, but you do have all those creature comforts, like Stewart is only 10 minutes away. We showed that earlier, which if you really wanna know more about Stewart, all the amenities, 
and the places you can eat in that. Check out this next video that I did on Stewart, and we'll see you there.